Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to look at jQuery toggle and actually toggling um, and we're going to be performing uh, an action depending on when the button is clicked. So, for example, we're going to use a link. Now let's go ahead and create a link in our markup and I'm going to write in here, um, press me or click me would be more appropriate. Okay, so inside the href we need a hash and we want to create um, an ID and I'm just gonna call this click me. Now, what we're trying to achieve is when we click this, the first time we click it, we are going to um, do something and the second time we click it, we're going to do something else. So let's go to our browser and preview this and you'll see that we just have a link click me. When we click it at the moment, it does nothing. So we need to create a handler that uh, checks when, first of all, this is clicked. Oh, in fact, no, we can just use uh, the toggle. So when this is clicked, we can append the event handler toggle um, and uh, this will do two things. The first thing it will do is show us something. The second time it will revert back or it will show us something else. Then it will re revert back to the first option. So let's go ahead and create um, a div underneath here and we can give that an ID um, of click uh, event. So once this is clicked, um, we need to uh, show an event and then another one and then revert back to the first one. And the toggle function um, actually uh, allows you to show and hide elements, for example, um, simultaneously so you can use the same button however in this tutorial we're just looking at the event so this will show you how it works and then later on we can use toggle uh, to actually hide and show things in a previous in a later tutorial so now we want to go ahead and create a new JavaScript file and this is going to be called toggle.js and we want to include that in our page as well so you just copy and paste this down here and change this to toggle.js. Okay, so we want to add a toggle event handler to this click me. So let's go ahead and type a dollar. In parentheses, we need to reference it, which is click underscore me. Then we say dot toggle. Now, this time we're going to be creating two functions inside here as opposed to one as we've seen in previous tutorials. So we want to first of all create a function here with the block, and then we want to create another function here with another block. So let's just go ahead and pull this down and the same with this one so we can work in a in two different areas. So we've got here and here. Okay so the first time we want to click the button or, or we click the link we want to display something. So we need to reference our click event div and we're going to place some text inside of here. So let's go ahead and say click um, I think, see what I called it, event, click event dot HTML, which is going to place some text inside of this uh, div. Um, let's just say yes. And uh, then we can go down here and choose to do the same thing. So click event and dot HTML. No. So now what's going to happen is when we click on uh, the link, here, we're going to use the toggle to first of all display yes in this click event div, then we're going to display no the second time the user clicks on it. What will happen is when they click on it again, it will then display yes again. Now you may be wondering what use uh, this might have. Well if you had two different options, for example you wanted to say, um, I don't know, display a link to say do you like uh, jQuery um, and the, you want to give the user the option to click it and change the value I mean that's a that's an odd example but hopefully through this tutorial you'll see the functionality of it so now that we've got click me when we click it once you can see that we've displayed yes as we've seen in our code when we click it again this now changes to no so you can now see that when we click it a, a third time it changes back to yes. So essentially what we're doing is we're checking for the click of this, but we're toggling. So we're toggling between yes and no. So hopefully now you can see the advantage of being able to use this 
and a user easily being able to change an option for example um, this could for example be an option that the user might want to change within a settings um, area on a website it could have it has a variety of uses and a wide variety of uses at that so I'll leave it up to you uh, with as how you use this and how you interpret uh, the uses it can have however for now that is the toggle event handler in jQuery